Islam. They wanna know about Islam? We'll give them that one. They wanna know what a Muslim does? We'll give them that one. When they wanna hate on our deen? We'll give them that one. The necessary if you if you worshipping is realizing your dependent your dependent nature respective to the nature the independent nature of the independent one right I understand. once you realize that the question is now how does this independent one want you to realize that dependence it's so interesting because why would it need Dependence. Who said why, anything? Why would it want it? No, hold on, hold it's on. A strange. Thing. That's that's a contradictory question. Is it? If it's an independent, it doesn't need anything because. It, but why it, is it asking for it? Well, no, hold on. It's not asking for dependence. It is. No, no. Worship me or you go to hell. No, no. Now we've gone into religious discourse. I thought this was a religious discourse. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It, it really wasn't. This but, was a rational. Muslim, right? Oh, Muslim. So this is completely separate from being Muslim. I'm I'm building you up. Man. You're gonna, William. It's not my first time, man. I know it's not your first time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but what, what, do you understand what I'm saying right now? Does this make sense so far to you? Yeah. Well, I know I've heard these things a number of times. I'm taking you seriously. It's just I, I want to, I want to go further. Yeah. All right. So what I wanted to say to you is this. What I wanted to say to you is, simply spoken, us realizing our dependence does not entail a need from the independent from us to realize our dependence. There's no logical necessity there. That's answering your question okay. directly, right? Just because if we realize our dependence, it doesn't mean that God uh, needs us to realize our dependence or the independent needs us to realize our independence. It doesn't follow like that. It just means that in order for you to, 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 to self-actualize in the ah, most... Yes. That's interesting. Yes. Because self-actualization, from my understanding, is, under, is the realization that you actually have full control over yourself yes, and, and are not dependent. No, that's a that's Maslowian uh, understanding of it, oh, psychological. Maybe it works for me, though. Nothing. It doesn't matter if something works for you. If it's not in line with the truth, we chuck it away. <laughs> <laughs> Self-actualization. I think that's... Um, let me tell you something. Self-actualization. Tell me if, you're, if you disagree with me. Self-actualization is realizing who you are, why you are, and what you are. And the development of yourself. Do you agree? The expo exploration. Perfect. No problem. Who, why, and what. If self-actualization are those things mm. the first thing you should know about yourself is that you're a dependent being and you agree that we're dependent potential realities possible existences not something which is didn't, I didn't agree yeah you did well and that you, is a reality you can, it doesn't really if doesn't I really take you out of existence of or if you take me out of existence if you take me out of existence or I take you out of existence it's not going to stop existence from existing it doesn't lead to an impossibility well, I already gave you the theory that we might, we might, be, we okay. might be the concept of God experiencing itself. Look, the, the, what might be the case isn't as strong as what certainly isn't the case. And that... I don't think we can be certain. Anything. We have been certain. So you say? We have been certain. The thing is, William, I really think that when we look at these things discursively as we have, right? Rationally as we have. Well, I know that there's much more intelligent people than me, factually, that completely disagree with you. Let me tell you something. So, it's like, it's I, like I you said, sorry, it's like you said, God shouldn't want for any reason. I had not said that he did want it. What did I say? He said want worship. No, no, no. Want can be used in two different way, uh, words, ways. Want as in, if I don't get it, then I will not exist. Which we've already discussed is impossible. But want as in, this is something that is part of my will. So, Even a will is limited. No, no, that's that's not. There's no there's no logical necessity for that. Because having a will doesn't mean uh, having a limit to the will. When you have something, that means something is um, with you. Okay, you have something. There's me and that which I have. Say that again. If you have something, yeah. that means there is you and that which I have. Like I have gloves. Okay. There is the I and that which has gloves. Right. So if something has will. What is that? No, no, no. You've, you're, you're grammatically confused because there's two things. There's, there's something which is. What's your Tiger. name? Sorry, my friend. Tiger. Tiger. I like the name. <laughs> it's very good. I'll tell you why. In English language, if I say it's tigers, and I put apostrophe between the R and the S, it means it belongs to you. You own it. It's your possession. But if I, if I ascribe an attribute to you, which is part of your nature, 
You don't have to possess it. But even an attribute is still something. That which, as I, was, I told you, it was a green view. Right. That which you will call God or Allah, okay, yeah. has to be distinct from that which you call reality. Yeah. Completely agree. Right. But as soon as you say it has attributes, that limits it, I would say. Well, what is an attribute? You have, you have anything. You have what, anything. No, even an speaking, attribute is just an adjective. Even speaking, even authoring a book. An attribute is an adjective. But do you hear what I said? Yeah, I heard what you said. But I'm saying, what my question is, what logical principle are you using to determine that using adjectives to describe, for instance, in our case, the necessary existence or the independent, limits it? I just said in plain English, so I, I don't only to be real. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying, but I'm saying in plain English, I don't know big words, I can't yeah. I mean. yeah. If something has anything, anything is limited. Anything. And who, said, who, who, who gave you that principle? I, I'm suggesting. Okay, and what, on what For basis? For example, yeah, yeah. we would say there's space here. Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. What limits it? What limits space? Yes. What, uh, the existence of other things that are occupying the space? What limits space? Well, space oh, itself space. is, by the way, space and distance is something in physics which is debated. Leibniz and Newton had the whole discussion. What is space? I'm not going to go into it. What I am going to say to you is this. If, if, so just, yes, just throw it away. Yeah, if you're, if no, you're saying, away, I don't, I don't understand it. No, I don't, I, look, I mean, no, right, what's, what, no, you talk about ahead. right or wrong, just yeah, I'm asking yeah. you, what limits space? Can anything limit space? Is that way? Can anything limit Something space? which occupies it. Is that, is that what the answer is? How? How would it limit it? Because it would occupy it. <laughs> Depends on what your vision of space is. Because as I say, space if you have a Newtonian understanding of it, it's different to have, if you have a Le Leibnizian understanding. Space as in... What is space to you? Yeah, yeah no, that's true. Yeah, space yeah, as in... Yeah. That which all things are within. <laughs> right, so Newton had a different understanding to Leibniz. I'm not Newton, just talk to you. No, no, but I'm, I'm telling you right now. I mean, uh, it's, a, it's an interesting, uh, it's, a, it's a positive interrogation, but if you're, using, <laughs> if you're using a word, it's only fair for us to look back at what scientists and philosophers have used to determine what that word means, is it not? Well, it matters more. I think it means what you think it means. No, me and you are not specialists in uh, physics, it's right? It's not about special. No, it's so space. I, I'm just so telling you. And this is where you limit no, no, yourself. No, no, I'm, I'm, it's very important. Space. This is where you no, limit yourself. I'm not, I'm not limiting you myself. Limiting I'm just going to scholarly material. Yeah, but I'm, you what I'm not, saying you is, can just have yeah, an yeah. opinion, right? Well, okay, I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, I'll go with uh, William's opinion on this one because I'll say to you, look, space itself is there's no agreed upon definition of it in physics. Uh, in Einstein, works, Einstein and no, Leibniz, still works. look, Einstein and uh, Leibniz, Einstein and Leibniz had an understanding that space is relative. So, for instance, point A and point B, the thing between it is 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 limited. Whereas Newton had an understanding of physical space as being like. A physical reality. Look, I don't. I don't want to go into details about this. But what I'm saying is, the reason why I tried to avoid cosmological um, extrapolation from the very beginning is because I thought an ontological reasoning would keep us away from those inductive limitations, right? And I talked. To, I talked to him about this already. I said, I said to him, look, the reason why I'm not um, using a discursive cosmological argumentation is because of those inductive problems. When you say cosmo cosmological. Yes. Are you? What are you talking about? Like outside? I'm talking Earth? about that which were you were. Cos when we say cosmological, we're, use we're talking about the cosmos. So we're talking okay. about the universe. I'm and just talking yeah, about like yeah. just space. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's example, part of the cosmos. For example, yeah. would you that's part agree? Of the cosmos. Okay, would you agree yeah. that everything is in something that we call space? I don't know because that's that's okay. where the discussion is. Discussion. Because you don't know. Okay. Everything is in something. Yes. No, I don't agree with that premise. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Because How if could you're it be otherwise, though, Pardon? Interest. How could it be otherwise that like, something can exist but not be within space? The numbers. But numbers are within thought, they're a concept of thought. Is that space? No, no but it's within something, said. thought. No, 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 hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold, on hold on, Tiger. You said everything is in something. Yes. Numbers, are, are they something? They're a concept of thought. The concept is no something. problem. Is it in space? <laughs> it's in space, that's just something. No, 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 hold on. Tiger, no, Tiger, space. please, no. please. It's not, is it? Oh, so, yeah. not, so then your, your fi first premise has been disproved. No, I didn't say everything is in space. I said everything is uh, something. Yeah, everything is in something. Said, Where is a number? Where is it? I said thought. In that, imagine if, you, if I say five, yeah, where but five? You tell me. Are you are you talking about from a geographic, uh, uh, from a geological perspective? You tell me. Where is the number five that you're seeing right now in your mind? It's an abstraction. Where is it though? Does it's it not. Exist? No, it doesn't exist in in, in a cosmological Great sense. Question. Okay, but does it exist? Are you? It exists hundred percent. Okay. Yes, then. but not in a cosmological sense. That's fine. But yeah. it exists within so, thought. 
Okay, but you said within. See, it's a, it's or equivocation. Asphalt, or even asphalt. No, no, a tiger. This is this is the fallacy of equivocation. Do you know that? Because what you what you've done. Let me explain. Let me explain. Using the word in can be done so. Um, it can be done so uh, geologically, if you like. Say this is in this. The, ha the, yes. the bunny is in the hat. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about position, yeah. positioning, positionality. If I say that the, the bunny is inside the hat, that's me using it inside. Mm. If I say, well, it's within reason mm. to do this, this and that. Mm. It's the same kind of word, mm. but it's used in two different contexts. So it's called the fallacy of equivocation. So that's it's cool. a false, it's a false kind of proposition. Could be cool, that, okay. so anyways, what's, what's the point you're trying to make, Tiger? Yeah. Anyway, that's a bit uh, I apologize. Well, like I said to you, I was agreeing with you, remember? Yeah, good. But I'm right. suggesting to you yeah. that that which you call God is not um, the right understanding of it. Okay, well, uh, no like problem. I said, for, e e for you to give anything to that which is definitely, I agree, distinct from this, of course. Say that again, sorry? That which is definitely distinct from yeah, yeah. And this yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. This moment, let's say. Yeah? This moment is dependent on it. I agree. Yeah, all right. Good. Excellent. To give it something, straight away puts it into experience. Say that again, sorry? To give it something, an attribute, it can speak. I mean, that straight away. Even See, actions. Once again, that's sorry, can I finish? Please? Of course. So, so, so. <laughs> Even yeah. action to say, God did this, God done that. For it to have to do limits it. We do. I would suggest to you that which we call God is just that which cannot understand. That's another Quran says in the Bible. Says, I don't know if Quran says, I don't know Quran says. Yeah, we cannot understand with the mind, of course, because it's that which is mind is dependent on. So how can mind know that which is de it is dependent on? Yeah, okay. But then, if it has to do anything, create any action that limits it. I'm I agree with you. If you say it has to do something, which yeah. means it's no, but no, but does. No, no, that's, that's too well. I know, yeah, but don't pull on the words too much, yeah. I'm saying it. You would suggest that God does do things, right? Yeah. So I'm saying that limits it. That Why? understanding. Why? Really? Yeah, because if I were to ask you, actually, the opposite is true. Because if I say that to, to do, no, no, no. If you're saying God no, no, does, no, actually, actually, brother, just to clarify, yeah, why, why we're here. Yeah. So you know the word do, yeah. When we Muslims refer to Allah subhanahu wa taala, for sure. example, if we refer to His hand, we're not referring to the hand that you know. And in the same way, and in the same sense, when we say that Allah did something mm -hmm. or He has to do something, as no we it's not in this way that we understand as humans. So what is the way? That is something that it, there's something that's called the unseen up within us, yeah. Oh, no, within please, Islam, sorry. yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thank you, thank you. I respect that. So, for example, when you were to create something, you would mold something, correct? Maybe you would carve something away. Allah doesn't work in that way. When, if you would ask me, how does Allah work? That's where we would say to you, we do not know how Allah Subhanahu wa Taala works. He creates something in something that's different to what we understand. Inshallah, that clarifies. I'm going to go and pray. I understand what you're saying. Right. Yeah, okay, can, 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 can I pray? Can I pray? Can I come back? So you just said something. Can I reply to the brother? Yeah, yeah. Come here, brother. Fair, So I'm going to say goodbye. No, no, I'm going to go pray, bro. That's right. Can we pray and come back? Can we pray and come back? Yeah, go on. Can we pray and come back? Can we pray and come back? Okay. Actually, you have to go. Let me make your statement. Let the brother make a statement. Yeah, go on. I agree with that, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think what we miss, yes, yes, yes. as so-called humans, yeah. is we can't understand that which you call God with yeah. mind. You can't thoughts. know it. No, not, not, not all of it, no. So of course, for us to understand, we have to yeah, pull so, it so, in so, stories. So. Yeah. We have to pull it in words. How yeah. else could we um, have the attempt to think Fair. deeply? Yeah, okay? Okay. Mm. So when God is saying do, yeah, I agree. I don't think it actually means do. But many people, not all Muslims, because you have different beliefs, not all Christians, mm. think literally do in some way. Yeah. In some way. Yeah, in some I'm way. saying if it's in any way, that's not the understanding of God that I believe is correct. What, what is the correct That's right, that's subject, that's your, from your literally, perspective. Yeah, yeah, of course, exactly. Yeah, as yeah, Muslims, yeah. we had the unseen, but so not, that's the difference. Yeah, of course, yeah, I'm agreeing yeah, yeah. it's unseen. Sure, sure. I'm literally agreeing. What's your yeah. background, by the way? Have you got a certain background? It doesn't or? matter. He's a respectful man. Now. Take care, brother. That's the only yeah? now that we should call now. Yeah? Right. Thank you, man. Listen, uh, one thing I would like to say to you is that two things you did say, which are flatly false from a logical perspective, is that if you are using yeah, logic, well, if maybe yeah, you're not using reason. What's the difference between logic and reason? I'm just saying. How do you define reason? Huh? Reason, things to make things under, to try and understand. Something. And how do you do that? Well, um, I would use it to see if something makes sense to me. How? If it makes sense to me. Yeah, how would it make sense to you? Okay, it doesn't make sense to me that there could be a square circle because the shape from the So fit. that's logic. Okay. <laughs> Look. I told you I'm, I'm not big with the words, but you don't have to try and win this from intellectual standpoint. Yeah? We can just speak normally. 
You know what I mean if I say reason, yeah? No, but you sure. said it's not logic, but then we discussed yeah, that. Yeah, but don't pull up on the words too much. I'm suggesting to you <laughs> that God, there is that we should call God, yeah? Not as a being, no. I'm suggesting. What's a being? Something. So it's not, it doesn't exist? Not as a being, no, exactly. What's your understanding of existence? Well, you existence. If you read, you really want my real answer? You really want to go there? I don't okay. want to go there. No. I, do. I, don't want sure? your, I don't want your false one. You want to go there, yeah? yeah? I want to know. There is only existence. Okay, I agree with you on that point. There is only existence. <laughs> and we, we had that discussion before. Look, I'll, I'll tell you also, something. Also, just I'll, to save time, time. Save time, just to help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he doesn't need help. He's very no, strong, man. No, no, help. That's the wrong yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Can you pick up an evil little oh, word, sure. man? You're too shrewd like that. I'm not sure. You're thinking in an interesting way. Tell me. You said about something about time. Do you believe in time, right? I suggest to you, time only exists in thought. What's thought? Wow. You know what a thought is, brother? Who's thought? That's a great question. Okay, good question. Yes. Who is be, the I? Could be something what is deeper. the I that you prefer refer to when you say I? How can I? you prove I exist? I'm asking you that. I'm not proving. No, no. I, I, I don't suggest I exist. Let, let me tell you something. I'm, no, hold on. Right. I'm yeah, saying, yeah. you ask me a question. I'm saying, yeah. I don't. Okay? I'm not saying I exist. Let me tell you You've something. You've been let, saying let, let I me... this whole time. So I, I haven't, you. I haven't been saying I. Of course you have. You just said it now. No, Tiger, you just said I haven't been saying I. No, no, hold on. You just said I haven't been no, saying no. Can, I. Can I explain? So can I explain? Can I'm I explain? asking you what is I. That's my last Tiger, question. Tiger, yeah. In the beginning, the argument I put forward had no pronouns. I said existence. Oh, words. Please, Tiger, please. I don't know why you're... Is this... Are we talking to each other in a respectful way? Or? Oh, yeah, definitely. But I told you that um, the whole grammar thing isn't that big a deal. Because the word itself isn't what it actually um, is referring to. The word ball is not a ball. Like, we put too much on words. The words, if I, if I write elephant on my hand, is this now an elephant? Like, we put way too much okay, emphasis fine. No, on I'll words. I'll try and, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah no, I get you. The yeah, words I'll try. themselves are not truth. They yeah, refer yeah. to that which is. Okay, no, I agree with that point. Or they attempt to. Yeah, right. say, no, no problem. To. Okay. So, the, the so argument... Gram sorry, 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 that was my bad, my bad. No problem. No, I, no, you <laughs> want to say something? I, yeah. I haven't got a problem. No, no, that was my bad. That was my bad. I was saying that the argument I put forward was intentionally um, sidestepping of... Uh, of personal pronouns and the reason why is because uh, when René Descartes who I think was an 18th century sorry 17th century uh, philosopher he has something called a cogito which is I think therefore I am I'm sure you heard of it yeah cogito ergo sum uh, Nietzsche come some time ago you know recently in the 20th century 19th 20th century and he said that how can you presuppose the I so when I started up my my initial pro uh, proposition I didn't I didn't say I exist I said to, to William, I said to him that there is certainly exist, ex, there's no doubt that there's existence. So, I, right? Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. So, part. We'll it, agree. It, right, right, so no problem. So, having said that, this whole discussion, I think if you're following it and you agree with it, I'll go, I'll say the one last thing. No, right? some things. Yeah, you agree with That's something. Why I, right, right. I don't agree with you. Yeah, yeah, some certain things. I'll tell you one last thing before I have to go and pray, right? No problem. Which is, I agree with the point. And I'll say to you, candidly, right? You cannot justify all of what we as Muslims say are God's, of, uh, God's attributes, so-called God's attributes, adjectives describing this independent being. We cannot justify them all rationally. It's impossible. So we believe that God is merciful and loving and all of those things, yeah? Mercy and love are not necessary. I would argue they're not necessarily logically part of an entity that's independent. Right. Yeah? Yeah. All of those attributes, so we say there's more than 99 names, there's 99 names and attributes. Man Ahsaha, the hadith says, whoever memorizes it, understands it, whatever. But it's more than 99 attributes. We cannot, I can't hear, and uh, sit, stand in front of you and say, look, all of those 99 attributes, all of them using discursive, you know, systematic theology, mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, uh, prove each one like that. <laughs> no, it, it could not be the case, right? No. Indeed. And it would not be the case, and it is not the case. Mm -hmm. So I say to you that there may be about five or six attributes which can be discursively found out. Seven or eight, nine or ten could be, right? Maybe twenty, right? Like what? Just for example. For, for instance, the fact that he is, uh, that, that the thing is independent. Okay. That there's nothing before it. Oh, even more. Yeah, there's nothing before it. That, that, that it's, it's unique. And so on. These things that we talked about, right? The things that which necessarily, from a logical perspective, follow. But other things like him being merciful and being, you know, uh, having this attribute and that attribute, 
we can't go into great detail. The, where we get that from, we get that from revelation. We get that from Quran and Sunnah. We, for us to believe in that, we have to believe in the Messenger. So we say that Which one? Prophet Muhammad, all of them in fact, Moses and Jesus and Muhammad and all of the messengers. We say that God gave us the ability to immediately know him. We have immediate knowledge of God. It's intuitionism, I agree. right? And in addition to that, rationally know him. I don't think you need revelation to know God though. Absolutely. And I agree with that point. You do not need revelation to know God. That's part of our discourse as well. Okay. The Quran is referred to as a dhikr which literally means a reminder, which means that immediately we know who God is. But then we're reminded of him through revelation, where all of the, not all of them, but some substantial details relating to this deity is handed over to us from the messenger who we believe is being inspired by this independent all-knowing source. Do you believe God is a deity? Yes. yes. So, what's a deity to you just so I know? So, so the difference between so deity, something worthy of worship, something which is worship. But a thing. Yes, a thing. Yes. A thing. Yes. This a thing. is why I say I don't believe that's a correct understanding. Yeah. Well, but that's. You say it's a thing. That's a limit. No, no. A thing is. is, is yes. I would say yes. Well, it's, just, well, it's all about language, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But, exactly. That's but you why. Said if just silence, because you say something, it's not. Silence. Yeah. Obviously, we have to talk. Yeah. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. Right. But I suggest that. Um, so what is it? Like I said before. What do you want to call it? There isn't any word. That actually means what the word says anyway. Okay. So what you're saying that is quite way, profound, actually. Way, what that, you're saying is that it doesn't. Sorry, I just just to yeah, oh, right. you tell me. If, I I'm saying it wrong. Right. Yes, yes, right. I do apologize. That's right. You're saying that whatever word we use, it's not going to be adequate. It's not going to be adequate enough to identify the uh, full essence of that th of, of the entity which we're talking about. No, could we just collectively agree that? The yeah, word yeah. Means no, that I to I totally agree with yeah. that point. Mm. I totally agree with that yes. point. Thus, These are pointers. Words thus, are pointers. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thus, I suggest again yeah, yeah, that yeah. truth is not in the word. Yes, I agree. Word at all. Hundred percent. say a lot of things. Words are pointers, right? They attempt to point. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. indeed. So, so we we agree then. Oh yeah, we're good. Now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want you guys to do, please. I mean, take it from me. If if, if you don't want to do it, don't, don't, okay, you can don't do that. Have. But I gotta do one to you then. After. Right, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> if you, no problem. Yeah. Uh, there, just um, you might have done it already, right? <laughs> I want you to read from chapter 50 of the Quran up until chapter 114. Now you might think that's a lot of chapters, but they're all very small. And what I want you to do is just envisage, and if you can actually listen to it in Arabic as well, whilst looking at it in the subtitles in English, it'll be even better. Just look at those th that message basically, which we believe is a message from that independent entity, and ask yourself: Is this? Could this be? In fact, the guidance. The purpose. I've read some of it. Well, I've already said no. Um, I? Uh, oh, you know, you want to do it? No, 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 no. no right, yeah. I've got a Quran. I read it sometimes. Yeah, There's lots of uh, spiritual wisdom in it. Yeah. But as I just said, the understanding that many have, not all Muslims, I speak to Muslims, even in spot that yeah. see. No, I think you come up with some true. very wise statements, um, by the way. I've, it I takes me some time to understand what you're trying to say, but then, you know, yeah, when you I get it. You've spoken before. We, we, I think no, so, yeah. We, we when I get it, I get it. And I, I, I agreed with you on that last point, by the way. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. But um, just to say. By the way, can we? Can this be the last thing I need to pray yeah, and I come back? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'll say to you, until you know what that which you call I is actually referring to, I am, I am, I am. We all say I. God says I. Everyone says I. So what is I? When you know what I is referring to, then you can say I know who I am, because I believe your name is, is it Muhammad. Muhammad? Yes. Okay, that's not who you truly are. You can change your name right now and be Terry, right? So that which you Muhammad. essentially Terry or are, terrorist? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, so you said that. I, I know. I know. I know, I know that you said terror. That. Let me yeah. change that quickly. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're joking. But no, anyway. I'm only joking. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah, essentially, yeah. my thing is essentially you can't be a name. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's as a, a pointer, Muslim, right? we know essentially you're not the body. Yeah, yeah. So it's right? a pointer. Words so, are pointers. Right. right. So until we know what we essentially are, I don't think we should even say, I know the truth. That's if what you I'm saying from the start, man. That's what I was just waiting. Thanks, like, man. From me. <laughs> uh, Thanks. But I definitely, I'm not trying to speak like I'm hiding you. No one's hiding anyone. But I, I believe if you read the Quran in the slightly, slightly different eyes, you see what that which you call Allah is really trying to tell you. Well, you know what? But on that, on that, on that yeah, note, yeah. I think you're absolutely right. The more we read the Quran, the more we discover about ourselves, yeah, yeah. about the universe. But you, it's mind. been a pleasure talking to you, William, as well. Are you coming back? Yeah, I'll be back. I'm just going to pray. Do have to go myself. All right. Do, like if you want to talk to me afterwards, <laughs> I don't mind. All right, let me just go. And pray.